Obviously, the D.C. bill will face a challenge in the Senate because of the filibuster and all. You guys have passed a lot of bills here, including later today the D.C. statehood bill, that are piling up in the Senate. You and many of your fellow Democrats are critical of Mitch McConnell being unable to move bills, or being unwilling, frankly, to move bills there. But isn't the same phenomenon happening there, and therefore should they, should they get rid of the filibuster? Well, uh... You realize that uh, Mitch McConnell is still the problem. It's not as if it was Mitch McConnell, now it's somebody else. No, Mitch McConnell is still the problem. And uh, the, uh, I don't get involved in any discussion on Senate rules. You know that. And I don't welcome any discussion from them on House rules. However, uh, I do think we have discussion on issues and how they, uh, the, American, the needs of the American people are met. Uh, we think our For the People agenda with the uh, uh, the, the H.R. 1 to cl for cleaner government and cleaner politics in our country is very important. We think H.R. 3 to lower the cost of prescription drugs. We think that that H.R. 4, the Voting Rights Act, is something that uh, is shouldn't be blocked because of process. The list goes on. H.R. 5, the Equality Act. Uh, H.R. 6, Dreamers and... and um, uh, and, and the Promise Act that goes with that, H.R. 7, equal, fair, fair Pay Act, uh, uh, um, Equal Pay for Equal Work, H.R. 8, Background Check Legislation, as well as 1446 that goes with that, the South, uh, South Carolina loophole. Uh, then H.R. 9, Protect the Planet Now, and of course we'll go back to H.R. 2, which was our for the uh, moving America forward, the jobs bill that we are hopefully working on, which we may. I wish. I hope we can do the bills without reconciliation. That we won't have bipartisanship. But uh, should we not have any progress on all of these fronts because of that? Well, that's a debate for the Senate. And isn't that a political?